Well, welcome to another Ask Hoggy, and we've got Pakistan, Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, Steve Smith, uh, West Indies, all getting a mention, and Verinda Sawag. So let's take a look. Now, Morlick Barrett, he's asked a question, who is the toughest batsman as per you to bowl? Current generation, Virat Kohli. No doubt about that. The reason being, he controls the situations in the toughest conditions. Whether they're chasing, whether they're setting totals, he's generally the one that consistently puts runs on the board. He's got 50, uh, 50s under his belt, I think it is, 41 hundreds, and most of those hundreds are chasing big totals when batting second. So Virat Kohli for me. Uh, crikey, who is the present best cricketer 35 years of uh, uh, old or more, Hoggy? Imran Tahir, his energy, he's picking up wickets, he's got the wrong and he's got the leggy. Uh, just his enthusiasm, his bright spark. He's a lot younger than all those under 35 than him. The way that he celebrates, the way that he runs around the cricket ground. It's got to be Imran Tahir by a mile. He's the one that is still performing. You've got Chris Gale there. Yeah, he's had a couple of performances here and there, but it's a little bit too much hit and miss. Chris, you've got another couple of games for me to change that decision in this World Cup. Er, JB Chahal. Sir, what do you think about the West Indies' performance in World Cup 19? They've thrown it away. They could have been in that top four easily if they played a more conservative game against Australia. They had Australia on the back foot. They should have won that easily, but they continue to play T20 cricket, throw their wickets away, and that cost them. And then they lost against Bangladesh when they've got 322 on the board. They were in a winnable position. And then they continually bowled short. They didn't have plan B or C. And uh, that's where they've fallen apart, uh, fallen apart. They've just gone with each game with just plan A, no plan B and C, and they've fallen apart. And they'll regret that at the end of the tournament. Ashish Wardawa, you were the X, X Factor in the previous World Cup. Thanks, mate. I think we were talking about four World Cups ago, but uh, thanks very much for that wrap. But uh, let's continue. Helped you win compared to what do you think of Zampa? Worry about spin department. Look, Adam Zampa hasn't had the conditions in his favour. If you look at all these uh, conditions over in England, they've been a little bit juicy. Uh, there's been a lot of moisture in the air and it's favoured the seam, uh, seam bowlers. So Adam Zampa hasn't been able to adjust as well as he would like, but if it starts drying up at the end of the tournament, expect him to play a big part. Uh, just like that dog that just walked past playing a big part in that video. Ismail BDBD, Smith or Coley? Smith, come on, got to pick the Australian in front of the Indian. Come on, don't ask questions like that please, Ismail. No, I think Virat Kohli is uh, slightly got it on top of uh, Steve Smith. I think Virat Kohli is going to become probably the greatest batsman that the world has ever seen. So we can't take that away from him. Aria, if Australia make it to the World Cup final, what is your 11 for them, presuming Stoinis is fit? Very simple. Warner, Finch, Marsh, Smith. Well, I said it's simple and I'm struggling to get through it. <laughs> Maxwell. Stoinis, Carey, Cummins, Stark, Zampa, and Richardson at the end there. So that would be my starting 11 if they get to the final, the way that the boys have performed at the moment. Shiver. Finch batting resembles more of Sawag to me, the way he keeps attacking and playing selfless cricket, reaching milestones with big hits. He is also a clean hitter. He doesn't play for records. What are your thoughts on this? Well, that's why he's the leader of Australia. He doesn't put his own performances in front of the teams. If it needs a six to be hit and the run rate needs to uh, continue going in an upward direction, he'll go for the six rather than push a one to get that milestone. And that's what I like about Finch. And he's a great leader. He leads from the front. And, uh, but I wouldn't compare him with Sawag. I think Sawag was a little more consistent than Finch and a little more aggressive. Um, and time the ball a little bit better than Aaron Finch, but Finch is not that far off. Imit Yaz Patel, what major changes need in Pakistan squad or what you will suggest them? Pakistan, it's very simple. You look at your neighbor in India. India have really started to set the high bar in the way that you play all formats of the game. 
not just the way that they uh, conduct their technique on, on tactical and technical aspects of the game, but their fitness as well. Their fitness levels are so far ahead of yours out Pakistan, it is unbelievable. You just gotta look at the fielding. The athleticism of uh, the Pakistan field compared to many of the other teams, they're well behind the eight ball. They need to lift in that department. And there's only certain people that can change that. That's the players themselves. You've got the coaching staff to be able to do it. It's the players that have to take responsibility for it. So it's more fitness than anything technical or tactical about Pakistan. Bradley Hutton, if you could bring back one of these players to the Aussie middle order, who would you choose, Michael Bevan or Michael Hussey? Tell you what, it's a close one, this one. Uh, I'd like to say Michael Hussey because he's a good close, close mate of mine. Uh, but Michael Bevan, how many times did he bring Australia from certain defeat to, uh, to the big win off his own bat? And not only that, Michael Bevan can bowl a few of these left arm Chinamen, so he adds more depth to that middle order with both bat and ball than what Michael Hussey did. So for me, they're very similar players. It's a tough choice, but it's only by a nose that Michael Bevan gets the nod in front of Mike Hussey. And I've got to say, Mike, it's a big nose, so you're a long way off. Camlish Cara de Well, finalists, Australia or England? Australia are no, never ever going to let England have a, uh, things their own way in their own country easily. So it's got to be Australia. Definitely Australia for me. Anyway, thanks for joining me on Ask Coggy. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe downstairs. Get on that bell, ding, 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 and that'll give you a notification of when the next video is coming out. Thanks for joining me.